This is USMLE QA, USMLE material presented in a question and answer format structured similar to the first date for the USMLE Step 1 book. Question, what are ketone bodies produced from in the liver? Answer, in the liver, fatty acids and amino acids are metabolized to produce acetocetate and B-hydroxybutyrate. Question, what is the significance of oxalocetate in relation to ketone bodies? Answer, in prolonged starvation and diabetic ketosidosis, oxalocetate is depleted for gluconogenesis. With chronic alcohol overuse, high NADH state leads to accumulation of oxalocetate, shunting it to malate. Question, what are the three main ketone bodies? Answer, the three main ketone bodies are acetone, acetocetate, and B-hydroxybutyrate. Question, what is the odor associated with ketone bodies? Answer, breath with ketone bodies has a fruity odor, specifically that of acetone. Question, can a urine test detect both acetocetate and B-hydroxybutyrate? Answer, a urine test for ketones can detect acetocetate, but not B-hydroxybutyrate. Question, can RBCs utilize ketone bodies? Answer, RBCs cannot utilize ketone bodies. They strictly use glucose. Question, what enzyme is responsible for ketone body production? Answer, HMG coalyase is responsible for ketone body production. Question, what is the role of HMG coa reductase? Answer, HMG coa reductase is responsible for cholesterol synthesis. Question, what is the significance of acetocetate and B-hydroxybutyrate in muscle and brain function. Answer, in the liver, acetocetate and B-hydroxybutyrate are produced to be used in muscle and brain function. Question, what is the significance of oxalocetate in chronic alcohol overuse? Answer, in chronic alcohol overuse, high NADH state leads to accumulation of oxalocetate, which is then shunted to malate and downregulated in the TCA cycle. Question, how is acetone detected in the breath? Answer, acetone in the breath can be detected by its fruity odor. Question, what is the limitation of a urine test for ketones? Answer, the limitation of a urine test for ketones is that it can only detect acetocetate and not be hydroxybutyrate. Question, why do RBCs only use glucose? Answer, RBCs only use glucose because they cannot utilize ketone bodies. Question, what is the function of HMG coalyase in the body? Answer, the function of HMG coalyase in the body is to produce ketone bodies. Question, what is the role of HMG coa reductase in the body? Answer, the role of HMG coa reductase in the body is to synthesize cholesterol. Question, what is the relationship between starvation, diabetic ketosidosis, and oxalocetate? Answer, in prolonged starvation and diabetic ketosidosis, oxalocetate is depleted for gluconogenesis. Question, what happens to oxalocetate in chronic alcohol overuse? Answer, in chronic alcohol overuse, high NADH state leads to accumulation of oxalocetate, which is shunted to malate. Question, can ketone bodies be detected in the urine? Answer, yes, ketone bodies can be detected in the urine through a test for acetocetate. Question, what is the significance of the TCA cycle in relation to oxalocetate? Answer, in chronic alcohol overuse, oxalocetate accumulation leads to downregulation of the TCA cycle cycle. Question, why can RBCs not use ketone bodies? Answer, RBCs cannot use ketone bodies because they are strict glucose users. Question, what is the role of HMG coalyase in the metabolism of ketone bodies? Answer, HMG coalyase plays a role in the production of ketone bodies. Question, what is the function of HMG coa reductase in the body's metabolism? Answer, HMG coa reductase plays a role in the synthesis of cholesterol in the body's metabolism. Thank you for watching our Q&A format video. We hope this helped you learn, review, and retain knowledge needed for the USMLEs. For more information on this topic, check out the link in the description. Now, if you want to take your USMLE prep to the next level, be sure to check out all our courses, which are structured to follow along with the first aid for the USMLE Step 1 book. You can find us at usmleqa.com. And if you're watching this on YouTube, be sure to like and subscribe.